Today is March 26, 2020, and I had planned on coming out to work through some allergy issues I've been having for this last couple of days and get some work done, get some vitamin D, thought maybe it would help me feel better. My goal was to get tea posts up around here. This is my new berry garden, and I wanted to get the tea post up so I could or get them in the ground so I could get some fencing put up. And I, all I managed to do was to bring the T-post out. So instead, I kind of needed to get started on this underpinning. And that's what I worked on today. Because the T-post is going to end up close to it. And I didn't want to have to fight the T-post and the underpinning at the same, you know, anyways, I'm tired, but so I've got my metal roofing on for underpinning. It's dirty. I've got to wash it off later, but this is where I stopped, and then I can come back tomorrow and start putting the T-post in, try to make maybe a gate on this side in case I need to get in on this side. This is going to be my berry patch. I've got some blueberries that I dug up from the orchard when I had the goats in there. And they were eating them down and I wanted to try to save something. So some of them have new growth. And I'm just going to let them do their thing. And then over here I have some black raspberries that I dug up out of my garden to start new patches. And... You can see it right there. And then I have some extra here. Some I'm going to give to my sister if she ever shows up to get them and then put some in the orchard. I'm going to put turkeys in the orchard this year. I've taken the goats out. And then I've got some more berries over here. These are blackberries over here. All along here. I had the fence coming down these green posts and I took that out. So I've got to clean all that up. But I've got some extra blueberries that I am going to put back into the orchard. I don't know if that's alive or not. And to give my turkeys some food when they get going in there. But I'm trying to get all of this still done. I have used the... Uh, cardboard to help smother grass and this is what I've gotten from it a lot of mess it comes back really bad but I thought well if I had some chickens over here they could help me and that's what I've been working on as well a little chicken coop a little housing um, I've got two banties in there now and I want to get I've got some more in my RV little babies so I'll have some banties over here and I'm going to let them work this, but I want to get the fencing up first. This section is where my greenhouse is going to go. It's an 8 by 20. And I've been waiting four years now trying to get it up. Here's one of my little banty hens. But I've got, I've got one section on this to cover with chicken wire so things can't get in and I got to finish back over here as well but I've got a lot of work to do and I'm trying to get it done and it's been raining and miserable and cold now it's warming up and the allergies are attacking me but the weeds are up I've been going out to the woods and getting the uh, deadwood pine that fell in the woods when we had a uh, storm straight line winds several years ago and the trees have now decayed so I've been bringing all that over and mulching my garden with it I've got some of it over there and a little walkway with it tried to start some plants I've got a lot of work to do still this thing is a mess but I did get this accomplished. Like this 
this was um, wiring all over it and I took it down, cleaned it up, made this several weeks ago and this is some of the some of the pine wood from the woods our woods that I brought in and looks like the only thing that survived of what I planted was this kale darn it I have to keep trying I've got more that I started but I'm gonna plant some um, bell peppers in here so that I can shade, put some shade cloth over this when it gets really hot soon. That's what I want to do to this, the whole garden is have it fixed up so chickens can't get in and the plants can have some shade and I have more control over it. And then the little boogers, the uh, chickens I mean, can go and work that side over there. But anyway, this is my mess that I call my garden. And I've got figs to prune in June. I've got to cut some of that back. Irises are doing great, though. But it's all weedy. It's a work in progress. Always a work in progress. Beehive. We've got to redo that. Oh, they're fixing to bloom. That's nice. And this is my sanity shed I'm still working on. I've managed to get some painting done. I've got to put some more trim, painting on the trim. And on this side, I'm going to do a deck from about here and then over. And then some stairs here. So I can have some shade sitting over there as well. I need to finish up in there. So I can use this thing if I ever get to use it. And I've got to get some underpinning for here. I'm kind of just using scraps, using what I have. That's where all of this came from. It came when we did our roof on our house. This was extra. So that's what I'm using, trying to use it up. Anyways, this is my project that I got completed today. I'm glad that's done. And now I have to get to take that off my list. Anyway, all right, so I have to go into the RV now and I'll show you my little turkeys. Okay, this is where I'm keeping my bronze breasted turkeys for the, that are going to go into the freezer when they get bigger. And this is where I put them last night in the RV. They're so cute. I have some more turkeys coming in a couple of weeks and they're going to be my breeders. They're Spanish, black Spanish turkeys and then I'm waiting to come in. These guys really seem to like it in here. Hey guys. And I've got plastic on the floor and straw down on the plastic. Okay, so I can take it out of here much easier when we're done. Alright, I'm going to close the window and set you on pause. Okay, now I'm going to show you my baby chickens. Change their water. I only have six because you have to buy a minimum of six. But they're little banties, a mixture. I tried to look up what they might be. And I know I'm going to have another black, big black monster looking one. A Cochlin or something like that. But one's got a little fuzzy head. Right there, the black with the, right here. Little fuzzy head, so 
she's going to be she or he is going to be different. I wish there was a way to tell what your what the sex was going to be. Um, especially on the turkeys, because the ones that I'm waiting to come in, um, somebody else is is paying for half of them, and I want us to both to have males and females. So I got to try to figure that one out. But this is where the little ones are staying for now. My little hens and roosters. They're so cute. So these are the chickens that I have out here. The big black one. The two big black ones are the black cock cocklin or I, I don't know how to pronounce it but that little one that I have will be like like this this is the rooster and then there's Festus right there he gets chased a lot so I've got two four hens out here and then the white hen back in the garden area I'd put Festus in the garden area but the other little rooster I have with my white hen they always like to s sit with each other so I put them together and then I'll give him some more girls hopefully but Festus he kind of prefers to be out here he flies over everything if he wants in the garden I'm sure he'll get in there but he's always he flies up on the roof of that shed when he wants in or out. Kind of does his own thing. But that's what I got going on today. I'm going to go inside now and wait for these chickens to all get in their roost so I can close them in for the night. I'm going to go have some yogurt and some frozen cherries and a cup of coffee and relax. I did take a nap because I didn't feel good. I had too much sun earlier and my allergies were starting up. But anyways, so I will catch you guys later.